Last time we looked at how prices are determined um, and to do that um, we needed to understand about demand and supply and what we're going to do now is we're going to turn our attention back to um, the factors that affect demand. So we talked in general about the sorts of things that um, have an impact on um, demand um, and we said that th th there are lots of different ones here. Yeah? We talked about the idea that price would have an effect on demand or income would have an effect on demand or advertising could have an effect on demand and so on. Um, what we're going to look at um, over the next couple of sessions is how much of an effect do those things have. And that's what's meant by the concept of elasticity. So what it shows elasticity, yeah, what it's trying to tell us is how responsive, how responsive is demand or supply. Yeah, so how responsive is demand? Yeah, that's what we're going to look at initially. So how responsive is demand to a change in something that affects it. And what that means is that um, there are lots and lots of different um, elasticities. Yeah, so if we're looking at the responsiveness of demand to a change in price, then we would have price elasticity of demand. That would show how responsive demand is to a change in price. Or we could have income elasticity of demand. And that would show how responsive demand is to a change in income. Or we could have advertising elasticity demand, yeah, which would show how responsive demand is to a change in advertising. Or we could have what's called cross-price elasticity, yeah, which shows how responsive demand is to a change in the price of other goods and services. So what elasticity shows us is how responsive is demand to a change in something that affects it price, income, the price of other goods, advertising, the weather, and so on. So what people get confused about at this stage uh, um, yeah, is yeah, people, what, what happens is that there's a formula for elasticity and people get all wrapped up in it. But if we say that, if we say that you know, demand is elastic yeah, to a change in something, yeah, then what that means is that there is a big change in demand. So elastic demand yeah, means that a factor has a major a big effect on demand. If we say that demand is inelastic, then all that means is that there is a small change in demand. And that's all elastic or inelastic means. Yeah? It's how big is the change in demand? Is it a big one or is it small? Now, obviously, we've got an issue here, which is well, what what do we mean? Yeah, you know, what what do we mean by what does what does big mean? Yeah, um, yeah. So, what is it that's going to make something elastic? What's a big change in demand? And we have a really simple rule, yeah, which is yeah, you know, assuming that we're dealing in things that can be quantified, things that can be measured, like yeah, you know, price or something. Yeah, you know, then if there is if there is a ten percent change. In, and it doesn't really matter whether it's price or income or advertising budget or the price of other goods. If there is a 10% change in the, you know, the, the factor that does the causing, if that leads to a more than 10% effect on demand, and it doesn't matter whether demand goes up or down, up or down yeah, if there is a more than 10% effect on demand, then that's a big change. And we would say that, under those circumstances, yeah, demand is elastic. So if there's a 10% increase in price and demand falls by 12%, that's elastic. If there's a 10% increase in income and demand rises by 13%, that's elastic. So inelastic means that there is a small change. So what does that mean? Well, guess what? It's fairly simple. If there is a 10% change in price or income or any other factor, anything really, it doesn't matter. If there's a 10% change in one of those factors and that leads to a less than 10% response, and again, it doesn't matter whether it goes up or down, a less than 10% change in demand, yeah, then that's inelastic. That's less than proportional, yeah, um, we get an inelastic response. And inelastic, it doesn't mean it doesn't change at all. 
It just means that there is, oh, well, it could do, yeah, but it just means that there's not a very large change. So to summarize, yeah, what we've got to say then, yeah, is that if we say that demand is elastic, yeah, um, in a particular situation, it's elastic with respect to a factor, so it's price or income or so on. But what that means is that demand changes more than proportionally relative to the other factor. Yeah, relative to the factor that causes the change. And if we say that demand is inelastic, well, that's very simple as well. All that means is that demand changes less than proportionally. Relative to the factor yeah, that causes it to change. And that, at heart, is what is meant yeah, by elasticity.